So we have a new AI open source image to video slash lip sync tool, which can go ahead and animate everything in your picture. Like I'm talking about hand moments, face gestures, and even do lip sync as well. New skills and new neurons actually surviving in the brain. So yeah, we have Echo Mimic V2, which is a brand new open source AI video generator that can also do lip sync as well. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about its complete installation process. And I'm going to also showcase you uh, a complete demo, like how it actually works. So yeah, without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so here we are in our home page of our GitHub model, which is Ecomic V2. So yeah, you guys can see here we have all the installation and demo of our latest free open source model. So if you guys scroll down, so you guys can see we have the gallery of our Ecomic V2 in which we get different samples, like the working of how exactly this model works. So we have a few of the samples over here as well. Welcome to use Ecomic V2. We hope Ecomic V2. So in these samples, they're basically showcasing you how uh, the models work uh, with the hand movements uh, and the face gestures. So you know how beautifully it can go ahead and animate those hand movements for you based on the audio you input. So yeah, that's really, really impressive. And we have lots of few other samples as well, uh, which you can go ahead and take idea from. But if you go ahead and scroll down, so we have a very important step, which is the installation method, right? So you can go ahead and install that in your Windows, uh, in your Linux machine or even in Mac as well. So yeah, uh, in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and download this on my Linux based machine. So first of all, for that, uh, for making your guys life easier, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and simply copy the whole procedure, like the whole installation setup. You know, this would make your life a lot easier, you guys, trust me. And after that, what you can do is you can go to chat GPT, simply paste all of your installation procedure right over here. And after that, you can type in the simple prompt like from this, give me a step by step installation on my Linux based machine. So what chat GPT is going to do is going to provide you step by step process to easily uh, install this uh, with the help of commands in your Linux based machine. So that would make your life a lot easier, you guys, right? So after uh, we are done with that, so now I'm going to jump right into my Linux based machine. First of all, open in my terminal and then we're going to go ahead and follow our first step, which is prepare system requirements, right? So we're going to go ahead and ensure like our CUDA 11.7 is installed and we have to basically check our Python version. Then we can clone the repository and all those important libraries and requirements that are must for downloading an open source model. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and follow all of these instructions one by one. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and prepare our system requirements. So for that, I'm going to first of all, ensure sure that my CUDA is up and running. So this would be my command for that. All right. So you guys can see it is pre-installed. Then I'm going to check my Python version in my Linux based machine. Okay. So we have 3.10.13 uh, Python model. Then the next step is we're going to go ahead and clone our GitHub repository, right? So I basically install most of the things uh, right here in my machine. So that's why we're not getting a uh, loss of confirmation right over here. Then after that, you need to go ahead and go into your particular repository, right? So we are inside of that, as you guys can see right over here. Then the next step is we're going to go ahead and set up our environment. So for that, first of all, we have to run our setup script. OK. All right. So after that, once it's done, uh, we need to go ahead and create a Conda environment. So for that, we're going to provide uh, two of the commands. First of all, we're going to create the Conda environment. Then we're going to go ahead and activate it. All right. All right. So once uh, both of the things are done, so then we're going to go ahead and upgrade uh, pip and install our required packages, right? So for that, uh, we're going to go ahead and use four to five requirements that chat GPT uh, is referring to us. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and install our pip. Then we're going to go ahead and install our torch in that, which is really, really important for an open source model. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and provide a few of the more libraries too as well. All right, so then comes a very important step. We have to go ahead and train our weights into our particular model because obviously without the weights, uh, you won't be able to run your model. You will get errors everywhere, right? So first of all, for that, we have to basically ensure our git LFS is installed. So for that, I'm going to type in my this command. All right, so you're saying uh, it's updated and initialized. Then we're going to go ahead and clone the pre-trained weights from our hugging face repository, all right? So yeah, after it's done, we're going to go ahead and verify uh, that they are there in our model. 
All right, so you guys can see we have that every single one of them. Then after everything is done, we're simply going to go ahead and run this model uh, by typing Python app.py. OK, all right. So this would be a very simple step without any error It's a very simple installation. And after that, it's going to simply go ahead and launch you uh, to the Echo Mimic V2, a very cool uh, free open source AI model. All right, guys. So once we are inside of our tool, which is Echo Mimic V2, so this would be uh, the kind of an uh, interface. It looks very intuitive, right? Like kind of a hugging face repository. So yeah, this would be uh, the interface where first of all, it's asking me to drop our image. Then you can go ahead and drop your audio. And after that, a uh, few of the parameters that are listed right over here is going to go ahead and generate a very beautiful animation out of your image and your audio right so yeah uh, initially all of this is uh, in Chinese so first of all what you have to do is you need to go to your browser it could be any so over here uh, you must have the option to translate your page so I'm gonna go ahead and first of all translate uh, this page so you can choose any language from here and you're gonna translate it into English all right, so after that, your majority of things are going to be fixed, yeah? Now we have uh, everything in English and looks much, much better, right? So yeah, uh, if you go ahead and scroll more down so you can get lots of samples right over here. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and try this one. So we have an uh, image of a man, which is basically an AI-generated image. And in the initial image, you can clearly see this guy is presenting something. He has his hands wide open. So yeah, what we can do is we can go ahead and upload uh, the audio. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and simply go with the default audio. Echo Mimic V2. Echo Mimic. Uh, which is you can clearly see uh, not in English. So first of all, let's just go ahead and try with the default uh, thing. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this generate button right over here. OK, so this is the generate button and we're going to go ahead and open our terminal. So you guys can see uh, our model is up and running. So yeah, it's basically using a uh, motion module. It's going to go ahead and run all the important libraries, all the important requirements. So yeah, uh, it's going to take around like two to three minutes, depending upon your GPU, of course. So yeah, I'm using uh, NVIDIA A6000. So for that, it's going to take around two to three minutes approximately, okay? All right, and after some time, it's going to be done. And this is the kind of output it's going to provide you. So yeah, take a look at this, you guys. Echo Mimic V2. So yeah, obviously, uh, the language isn't understandable, but if you take a look at uh, the beautiful hand movements and the way the guy is delivering the speed, the way he's talking, yeah, the hand movements, everything looks very, very natural, right? And it's crazy how beautifully it manages uh, to animate those face, uh, those hands all together. Like, you know, it basically submerged those very, very beautifully. Keeping in mind that this is an open source model. So yeah, for an open source model, the result is absolutely amazing, you guys, right? So next, what we can do is we're going to go ahead and create our custom audio. So for that, obviously, we're going to go to the best in class for our text to speech, which is 11 labs. We're going to go to the home page and simply, first of all, I'm going to sign in with my Google account. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and take any uh, good line, movie line from ChatGPT. Simply going to go ahead and copy this. Come back to my 11 labs and paste it right over here. And after that, we need to go ahead and select any voice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select any man's voice from here. All right, so I'm going to select this uh, Bill's voice and simply click on generate speech. And after that, I'm going to simply download this uh, from here and then come back to my Echo Mimic uh, V2 and simply drop my audio right over here, okay? And after generating the result, this is the output is going to provide you guys. It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. I don't look as good as I once did, but I'll tell you this, I'm still alive and I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, now you guys can see uh, the result is looking really, really good. It's making more sense now. The text to speech is understandable. And again, the face gestures and the hand movements, everything looks top notch. Uh, there's no problem. Only we have uh, some kind of resolution issue, like it's not really HD and uh, you can say uh, the frame rates issue. Yeah, but uh, depending upon like this is an open source model, I think uh, you can make an exception on that. right? But obviously, if you want, you can go ahead and simply fix that uh, by upscaling this video right so there you have it guys this was the installation method and a quick demo of our new free open source ai image generator lip sync tool anything you can say uh, which is echo mimic v2 so yeah i hope you like this video guys and i'll see you in the next one until then take care bye bye